Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Dubai for the start of the 2023 Gumball 3000 in the Middle East. We're here on the grid with the cars lined up in the footsteps of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, ready for this adventure. Today, I'm going to be revealing the car that I am joining for the parts of the rally that I will be driving. We're going to be picking that up a little bit later on, but before that, we'll take a look at the cars that are here, both all the way down this line and the other side of the park. Then we'll be going over to the gifting suite to get ready registered, which is always one of the most exciting parts of getting set for the Gumball 3000. There are some familiar names back on the grid, Team Aztec, Team Purple, plenty of friends from other rallies as well, but this is going to be quite the exciting adventure. Let's check out what's here, watch some of the cars coming in, go and get registered and reveal to you the car that I'm going to be driving. Continuing through, Team 100 in the Cullinan. We've got another Hurricane, another Hurricane. We've got a Corvette C8. Oh, we've got the Marcien, the Mark Philip Gembala Marcien just there. We've got a Portofino. We've got another 765 LT. That is a Spider. Not a bad start. The cars continue over on this side. One of 150 Super Trofeo Stradale versions of the Gallardo. One of 149 McLaren Elvers. I think that's the car from the space. It is indeed. I think it might even be the one I've driven. Maserati Gran Turismo. Let's keep coming through. The Aston Martin V12 Speedster, one of 88. Verde Media on that Ferrari F8 Tributo, very nice colour. AMG GTR and Solar Beam, GT3 RS, 901.1, 901.2, GT3 Touring, GT3, GT3, lots of Porsches, 812 GTS, fabulous car for it. Audi R8 V10, we then got another Lamborghini Aventador SV, GT3 RS, very nice blue, GT2 RS, GT3 RS in the purple. M3 as well, not bad hey, but plenty more cars still to join. Today is registration day, so the cars are coming through. Bright orange Lamborghini Huracan, of course, all stickered and liveried up. The bright yellow roundels and numbers on the cars this year with all of the sponsors around them. V10 sounds good. Team 102 Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster parking up. Lots of Lambos for the rally. Lovely metallic red paintwork. And I've got to say, by the way, GT2 RS, of course. GT2 RS Visac in this very nice metallic purple. Bit of a theme going on with GT2 RSs for this rally. Don't know if driving on the rally or just happening to be passing by. The Lambos everywhere in Dubai. Oh, now we're talking. I see some exciting stuff here. I see some very exciting cars in the lineup at the hotel. Let's come and take a closer look. Firstly, Maserati MC20, anybody? A line of three in a row. Ridiculous. Wait until you see what we've got under the canopy up ahead. Oh, this is getting good. There are around 10 Gumball cars to check out quickly here. A fourth MC20, the black with the orange racing stripes. Spot that, Team Aztec. Guess who's back again? Yes, the sticker wars have begun. The guys are stickering the driveway of the hotel. But over this way, we have the Ferrari SF90 Stradale in satin black. Not sure how they're gonna manage for luggage with that thing. GT2 RS MR, again, GT2 RS's, a fifth Maserati MC20. I want to point out the UK registered Ferrari 812 GTS that's been brought over there. And just in front of it also from the UK, the Rolls-Royce Wraith. We've got a GT3 RS just in front here. We've got the satin yellow Cullinan. And of course, we've got the first of the Bugatti Chirons. There are going to be a few Bugattis taking part in this rally. This particular car, Team 52, if we come on through in the metallic gray paint over the tan interior, looking awesome. There's something cool about taking a Bugatti on a supercar rally. This car's over from Oman. Of course, Gumball attracting cars from everywhere, but this particular rally taking place in both the United Arab Emirates and in Oman full MR kit from Manti Racing here. There's aero covers on the wheels, the larger end plates, and the full setup that you get with that. This is getting really quite exciting now. A big part of the process is to come here to the famous Gumball 3000 registration and gifting suite. So we're gonna go for a whistle-stop tour through the experience, which begins, of course, with signing the documents. We've done that. Next up is the wristband, the rally VIP. driver's wristband. VIP wristband. Let's get this on, let's get this crimped into place. Oh. Oh. All right, here we go. So, wristband in place. Next up is to sign the Gumball banners, to sign the flags and things. Hello. Uh, right. Yeah, so if I could trouble you for a signature on both these flags, that'd be amazing. Let's uh, do one it. One is for the Gumball Foundation, the other is just for memorabilia for the office. Awesome. So we've got to squeeze in, we're going to find a gap on here. We've got all the different stops of this year's tour. I think I'm going to go up in here, use this space. We will do Tim. Shmi, number 
150. And this one gets auctioned off for the Gumball Foundation. Everything signed, but I forgot to get my lanyard with all of the uh, the route passes and route locations and things. So it's your lanyard. Awesome. Thank you very much. There we go. This tells us everything we need to know as the rally goes with extra cards and all the different stops. That's a bit of a secret. Can't show you all of that for now. Behind us, Max and Eve are going through the process, but let's come through. Purple Team. Purple Team have done a few rallies. They've got some giveaways and goodies for us on this rally, which is very kind of them. They're back with obviously the satin purple cars we saw. This is on behalf of the Purple Team. So that's your awesome. Yeah? Thank you very much. No problem. A few quick words then with the man himself. Mr. Gumble, how are you doing? I'm very good. Good to see you. You too. Dubai, Middle East. we're here, right? First Middle East Gumball. Excited about this one. Second rally in the year. Which is uh, crazy, but good. What yeah. are you driving? Uh, I'm driving a Ferrari Roma. Okay. Yeah, we thought Probably a, a good nice car. GT car. Might be comfortable-ish. And uh, there's not another on the, on the rally, so, you know, why not? Enjoy the roads. Have fun with it. Well, Thank it's you. awesome to be out here. It's going to be a great rally, I'm sure. Uh, welcome back. It's good to have you. Thank you. Looking All forward right. to it. Cheers. Next up, we arrive at Bobby White, who made the signature Spirit of the Gumball rings earlier. Yeah, it's called go. CDs again. There you go. Look, they're the Spirit of the Gumball ones. So this that is the Spirit of the Gumball winner's prize so for this rally. White gold, yellow gold, diamonds, black diamonds, sapphires, and rhodium. But also, I spot with the team numbers. Yeah, so these ones, if you don't win these, you can get these with your team number on, and uh, sort of like a collectible piece for every single year you do it. But like you've done Toronto to Miami, so you yeah. get this one. And so we just make a little collection of them. And also we've done solid gold, obviously for the, for the buyer, the Middle East, 18 karat gold and diamond sunglasses. Wow. Right there. Yeah, all solid gold. Exquisite. Yeah. Love it. Lovely. Good to see you guys again. Thank you for that and I'll see you soon. Pleasure. Come round, we've got the DJs going on of course, and this is where all the merch happens. Come through this way, come see what we've got here. Gumball Driver's jacket, the signature piece for every year. The jackets, the gear, the thing that mean you are a true Gumballer when you're wearing all the swag, all the stuff. If we come on through, what else is around? Just spotting things, we've got socks, we've got baseball caps, we've got sunglasses, we've got bags, we've got shorts, we've got sports jerseys, we've got everything. So this will take a while to go through sizes and everything until I'm loaded up with my stash. We now have bags and bags of things that we've just had to leave to the side because it would be impossible to walk through with them. But continuing, our next stop is here at Inca who create the most exclusive and bespoke phone cases. So let's come and have a little look because it's all about this, the Pininfarina Modulo. Can we, can we take a look through these quickly? So these are the very first iPhone case designed by Pininfarina. It is only 99 cases um, per iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. So it's very limited. And among those 99 cases, there's only five that are red line silver case that is hand drawn by Italian artisans. But the interesting thing for me is the design of your cases is so true to the form exactly. of the Modulo, the car on which it's based, designed by Pininfarina, yes. of course. Yes, for example, the curves and the red line and also the engine holes that are very oh. beautifully reflected on the iPhone cases. For you, we would like to give you this blue Wow, you know me well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is amazing. Yes. It's also the special Gumball 3000 yes, it has edition it curved. with the carbon fiber. Yes, and with... the letters that are used in the Pinion Farina. That's automobile. stunning. Yeah. Single aluminium piece. Wow, that's stunning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amazing. Well, this is really nice. In fact, even the packaging is designed by Pinion Farina. This is actually incredible as phone cases go. Um, $10,000 really height of exclusivity of an iPhone case. So, welcome to Crew. Thank you very much. So, first question, what is Crew? We are the world's first social GPS, and okay. we are officially the official social rally app of the Gumball 3000. But basically, we've developed what we call the lead car. Yep. So, if I'm following you on a drive, you can be set as a lead car. So even if you're 10 miles ahead of me, I can ah. see you on my map. I know if you've turned off, I know if you've gone somewhere. No more getting lost, stuck at a red light and trying to call someone to say, this is where you need That's to really be. clever. On so many of our drives, that would be so useful. <laughs> How many times have you got go. lost on the drive? Right? Yeah, when you're driving in a convoy. Just yeah. a few times, you know? Just <laughs> even if Thank you very much, awesome. guys. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Have a good day. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are Kinetic. you? Kinetic. Yes. Kinetic is a private intelligence app 
Okay. So we help protect you and your business by giving you vetted information, essentially. And for our gift, we don't have it with us because we know everyone gets so many bags, and you're in your <laughs> Tell car, me about you know it. Where to put it. So we're shipping these out after the event. So it's a backpack, a satellite phone, and then a charger. Pack. Wow. Nice. So if you're interested, definitely. Give us a couple in. Um, inputs and then we'll ship it to you right after the event. Well, that is pretty much it for registration. It's time now for us to take all of our stuff and go and put that away because it might not all fit in the car that we now need to go and collect. That's one of the little problems we might have here. What an awesome experience with all the different companies here. Got so much, don't really know what to do with it. But onwards, I've got a car to show you guys. Before showing you what it's gonna be, a quick shout out and thanks to Audi Middle East who have provided our support car that is currently taking away our luggage, the RS e-tron GT. But quickly here in the garage, there is a pink Bentley Continental GT just there. Gumball cars are plenty. Lamborghini Urus, another Lamborghini Urus. We've also got a few of the support cars, plenty of comfortable SUVs. We've got a DBX, a pair of G63s. That is a Project One edition, AMG GT Black Series, all the way over from Germany. That's from Andorra. That Bantega's come over from Andorra. That's pretty cool. There's another Urus tucked in just over there behind the Defender. And yeah, plenty of things lurking around, just kind of spotting things through the gaps. But of course, all of these cars are heading out to the grid very shortly, but we'll go upstairs because it's gonna be time for the arrival of the car we'll be in. I'm now waiting upstairs for the arrival of the car in question. It should be here in a couple of minutes. It's not the pink Continental GT that's just been brought out of the garage or some of the other cars that are cruising past. The Rolls Royce just went past, the Tiffany Blue GC3 just went past, but it should be pulling up this away in a couple of minutes. So let's stay tuned and we'll see what it is. Well, that's not it, but that is a nice Rolls Royce Cullinan cruising through. Sorry. Cool. I see it, I see it, I see it. There it is, Team 150. Can't really see what that is yet. In the traffic over that away. It is arriving then. This is Team 150 for the Gumball 3000, the Manhart TR900 Porsche GT2 RS. Manhart's full modifications to a normally already ridiculously powerful 700 horsepower GT2 RS, 945 horsepower, up from 750 newton meters to 1,050 newton meters, finished in a familiar color scheme. You'll notice the midnight green. We've got another TR800 alongside. The midnight green is the exact same in Nozotec vinyl I had on my Taycan, finished, completed, with the bronze gold accents throughout. That sounds like a beast. The GT2 RS is one of my absolute favorite Porsches. This and the GT4 RS. But as per Toronto to Miami, the 150 numbering returns. Obviously the car fully prepared, liveried, but with the full Manhart package. So all of the exterior carbon fiber, normally these are plastic or satin black finished exterior parts. It's got their full suspension system, the full upgrades, and of course the tuning and conversion for the engine, cats, etc., etc., to be the ultimate track monster. Look at that. GT2 RS from Manhart. This is the GT2 RS from Manhart. So the TR800 is based on the Turbo S. I've been to visit Manhart in Germany on many occasions, but they've set up out here now as well. God, that sounds amazing. When you put it into sport is when you get the full power. Oh, and the exhaust valve as well. That makes a huge difference. Obviously, we're gonna drive in noisy mode. This car has a few kilometers on it, so it's broken in, it's good to go. Oh, the GT2 RS, it's such a weapon when you're on a racetrack, this car. It's phenomenal. But let me get comfortable before we set off. Do all the mirrors and all of that. Make sure we're ready to go, fully liveried up fully prepared for the occasion. Let's try and squeeze our way through here if we can. Got Range Rovers and everything aplenty. Maybe I can roll straight through. This is so cool, past all the other Gumballers. It's such a vibe when Gumball 3000 is in town. The way it all comes together is just immense. Okay, let me, uh, lift the seat slightly. These seats actually have some electronic adjustment if you want to slightly lift them up to make your life a touch easier. But we are going to go through here, try and navigate these curbs. This is weird. 
the layout here is surprisingly odd. We've got a nose lifter, just to make sure we're clear with the carbon fiber splitter that we now have. It's one of the things I never understood for a car of this kind of performance level and value. Oh, Lambo. <laughs> it never came with exterior carbon included. Oh, listen to that. Okay, so we're heading around this way. We'll see them in a moment. Lift up over the speed bumps. Make sure I can work out where to go. Sunglasses on. Green glasses for the green car. Let's go find the gumball grid. The noises from this car are really awesome, but obviously we're gonna have to wait until we're actually on the rally to enjoy a whole lot more of this. <laughs> There's something about the way this car delivers its power and obviously with as much as this now offers I need to ease into it a little bit especially on roads out here because they get greasier than you think greasier slipperier and all around you just want to be a little bit careful and obviously back in the Middle East I haven't driven here in fact the last time I drove here was in my GT Black series which I've just parked up in the US that's quite crazy to think about that car was right here and since then I've driven at something like 6,000 miles. Is that another Lambo up there? I'm seeing a flash of yellow off in the distance. Welcome to Dubai. Never know what you might spot. It's gone behind all the traffic now. Oh well, it was over there somewhere. Um, let's make our way around. This is like a kilometer to the entrance to the grid. Just watching that taxi coming out there. But yes, that is a Lamborghini Hurricane Spider tucked in over there. We're in the land of the Lambos. There are so many about, so, oh, bump, bump. Let's go get this around then. Hopefully I can work out exactly where we need to go. We must be in and amongst the skyscrapers this way because there is a specific route we have been instructed to take to enter the Gumball 3000 grid where a lot of the cars are from Group 63, one of the supercar owners clubs out here who are all joining for the start, including more hypercars that weren't there earlier. I've been seeing some pictures of some stuff that is really quite exciting to see on the grid in a moment. This is where we're being guided through. How you doing? Again. Right, it's a bit of a construction site. I so can see that. Let's go steady. <laughs> here we go. Hopefully they've swept this road. Um, you don't want to be driving down by building sites in cars with sticky tires normally. <laughs> But this is the way to get to Burj Park where they're effectively hosting all of the festivities. There are a lot of security things to do with being at the foot of the Burj Khalifa, but we are now driving around the grid in the car. <laughs> I think they're the first people who have worked out which car we're driving. <laughs> so we're heading through, hey, there's the Chiron in front of us. That's cool. <laughs> Hi Tim, how How's you doing? Going? Back good. with a car this time. This is where we are going to get parked up then, next to the Chiron. So I'm going to do this as close as I can. Very, very carefully does it. No pressure or anything. Stop. We're done. We're parked. We're lined up on the grid. Uh, uh. We're lined up next to the Chiron. There's a Devo, LaFerrari Aperta and Chiron Supersport to go and have a look at further up the line. I need to stand out the way though, because coming past right now is a Koenigsegg. Rocking the Agera Zijin. Ron Risks, Koenigsegg, Agera. That's so cool to see. Nice, what a color, what a spec. Lift system down. Epic. I've always been a big fan of this car. Saw it years ago. And now it's squeezing on round. Koenigsegg, Devo, Bugattis all over the place. Epic. Over here then, more cars are arriving behind where we are parked up. Obviously the Chiron just here, this Urus. Then we get the Bugatti Devo, one of only 40 Devos. The dual tone blue, exposed carbon on the lower sections of this. Team 99, unbelievable to see a Devo in the Gumball 3000 livery. If we come on through, we've got the Portofino, we've then got the cars, some of which we saw earlier, although the Zijin has just slid right on in just there. I'm gonna squeeze through this crowd that we've got, because I wanna point out a few others. Venator SV, 
very nice purple Pista 488 Spider, a fairly familiar C63 Black Series belonging to my friend Fazul that we did a photo shoot alongside my car and the Spaces SLS Black Series all in Solar Beam earlier this year. But then, look at this. New Chiron Supersport, just recently delivered at the space with this painted livery in the blue with the orange accents and details matching the interior and the wheels. That is completely out there. Extended tail, Bugatti Chiron Supersport. Then the LaFerrari Aperta. Yes, one of just over 200 LaFerrari Apertas. The convertible with the roof panel in place. Carbon fiber roof on that looking wonderful and then it continues with some of the cars we saw from the group 63 lineup earlier even more cars in the lineup here hurricane spider escalade pair of mclarens 570 600 lt vantage f1 edition on the v8 vantage 488 spider gonna come past a couple of the suvs and the Mulsanne, the bentley boys lined up just here if we keep coming through very familiar car about to be in our sights 488 Spider, but this is Team Skookum's 812 Superfast. I chased this car in my GT500 to the finish line right before they won the Spirit of the Gumball for the Rally Toronto to Miami. We've then got the Cullinan, Urus, look, it just keeps going and keeps going as we come through here. All of the cars in all of the bright colors and liveries, lots of exhibitions and things going on, activities up here this way at the moment. But yeah, what a lineup of amazing cars. What's How's up? it going? How are you? <laughs> We're How are here. You? Are you driving with us? Yeah. Cool. Hello. 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 Welcome. I'm excited. This is fun. How's the Welcome. jet lag treating you? Yeah. Well, this pretty much brings us to the end of registration day. Getting started. Day zero, you could say, of the 2022 Gumball 3000 here in the Middle East with all of the cars now lined up here in Burj Park. Some incredible cars that are going to be taking part. Possibly one of the craziest hypercar grids Gumball has ever seen for the first rally here in the Middle East. We will, of course, be driving parts of it in this monster, the Manhattan. Art GT2 RS, the TR900, and I'm looking forward to driving it in a little bit more anger than perhaps the one kilometer from the hotel over here. But the light is going down. We're signed up, got the wristbands ready for parts of the rally. So stay tuned for a lot of exciting fun on this year's Gumball. I say this year's Gumball, the second Gumball of this year. Toronto to Miami, and now out here in Dubai as well. We're gonna be checking out all the cars on the grid. We will be seeing the full start of the entire rally as well. And then it'll be time to hit the road for day one, driving the start line in that. It's gonna be mega. Stay tuned for all of that, but that's it for this time. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.